Hello and welcome. Oh my goodness, are you ready for this? I hope my audio is okay. By the way, I'm sitting with a blanket over my head and over the computer. I've actually been going to the forest to do my any voice clips I can, but it's not an option when I'm editing. So here we are. I hope it works and I hope it's better. Look at these. These were taken on the D3. Oh, my favourite one of all. This one coming up was actually taken on the D3 and we were actually setting up the lighting. Adam's still in his hoodie and his beanie. Look at this. Absolutely fantastic. I love this shot. Absolutely so chuffed with it. And actually on here, the clarity is actually taken down slightly, would you believe? And that was on the Nikon D3, everybody. And up next, we have the D800. Fantastic shots again. I was a little bit cross with myself on some of these images on all cameras. Um, a lot of them weren't sharp and I think that was due to my shutter speed. I get very, very excited in the studio and I'm, I move around a lot very quickly. And also I always feel like sometimes you are making a choice on occasion between atmosphere and pin sharp crispness. You know, I wanted a slow enough shutter speed to kind of record some of that beautiful smoke and, and to just soak up the atmosphere in the garage. But of course, with doing that, um, you run the risk of, of getting some movement blur. So that was a little bit frustrating, but I'm trying not to get too obsessed with sharpness. You know, I think these shots are absolutely fab and some real lovely atmosphere here. So I had the absolute brilliant time in, in the um, garage studio with Adam and it was so much fun. So the rest of the shots here you see are all taken with the Nikon Z9. I've been listening to Pink Floyd, Delicate Sounds of Thunder, as I've been editing these pictures and it got me to wondering, what do you guys like listening to while you're editing your pictures? It really adds to the mood, doesn't it? And I was really, really enjoying trying out all those lovely presets on Lightroom with Pink Floyd, you know, playing in the background and the atmosphere of the photos. It's, it's, been, it's been really lovely. And whilst some of these images I've been a complete perfectionist over, some of them, do you know what, there was a hair on the sensor of the Z9, as you can see, and I've missed it on this image, and I'm definitely not apologising for my MV Augusta just being in the background of this shot. <laughs> Are you a musician? Would you like some photographs in my dusty old cramped garage? It's a lot of fun. Based in the southwest of the UK, please don't hesitate to get in touch. I just wanted to say, like, when you stop to take a picture, I, f I always find, um, like, you'll have you'll see something, like I have a few times this morning, and you'll go to shoot it with a with a vision in your head and you'll capture that but it's always really good before you go just to like walk around and do some shots of this, the same subject but just from different viewpoints and angles um, and just not be too fixated on that vision that you initially had like you you you're drawn to that subject matter for a reason but then shoot it from all different angles Just one more tiny little thing before you go. I've just had a publishing date for my book, Piano Fingers. Really exciting. 31st of March this year. Um, and yeah, my goal is for this, this book to be a Disney movie. I know I probably sound crazy, but this would make, I just know it would make such a magical Disney movie. I just, I love Disney. Love it, love it, love it. So um, yeah, 31st of March. Heard it here first.